Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag sewing happiness video and we're going to make envelope pull downs. But first, a shout out to Susan, Pam Van E, Jane, Ricky, Claire, Sue, and Shelly. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, you guys, let's get right to it. So you can actually use your scraps on this. You're going to need rectangles. That's what you're going to need, rectangles. All different sizes of rectangles. You can have small ones, you can have fat ones, you can have long ones, just whatever you want. So let's go ahead and work with this one. I have some um, pieces, scraps, once again, of my lace trims. I have some buttons that I've already put my floss, my sewing floss through the center because you know how I like to finish those buttons off to make them look like they're actually sewn on. I just think that really adds a finishing touch. And I also have on my desk some Velcro circles in which you can use as closures if you want them to have a closure. All right, so we have got our rectangle. This one's a nice long one and I am going to go ahead and get my gathered twigs and I'm going to ink around the edge and then I'm going to show you a trick for the inside. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to be right back. All right you guys I've inked around all the edges. Now I'm going to turn it on the back side and I am just going to do this. It's going to make it this is a white background, very white, and I don't want to back it because I don't want it to be that heavy. I just want it, um, this is a firmer paper, It's it really is quite firm. And it was one of those papers that you can buy single sheets, and I bought some, I just thought it was so pretty. I was working on a project and it worked it worked well for it. Ooh, I couldn't get that one out. Okay, so just kind of smoosh it on there. I don't know what the word is. Lightly color the back, okay? So now we're going to take one of the ends and you're going to take your tips here and you're just going to fold them into each other, okay? I kind of do it at the same time because you don't want you don't want it w wacky. You want it even, not not off kelter. You want it even. So I like to do it together because that way I can see if one is above the other. So you're just going to crease it. I'll bring my bone folder in and I'm going to just crease it. So now it looks like this. See, they're not exactly together, but they're pretty level right here. All right. Now what we want to do is take this point and we're going to bend it forward. So we're taking the point, we're bending it forward. We are not going to make a crease right here on this line. We are not going to do that. We're going to bring it down just a smidgen, just a little tiny bit. I'm going to use the little marks on my grid and that's how I like to do it to make mine even because I'm not so even when I do things sometimes unless I get some help from a tool. So there we are. So now we look like this and when you open it up, I'm going to highlight it so you can see what I'm talking about. Do you see that it's below where this line is of the colored paper and then it's down below like that. All right. So we've got that part done. Now we're going to bring the base and we're going to bring the base up, but we're not putting it exactly on that line. We're going to do just a smidgen below that line. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just a smidgen below that line. Yes, just like that. And we're going to crease that. Now what I like to do, you don't have to do this step, but I like this step. I like to put a little notch in it, and I'm going to use this little tiny circle because this is pretty doggone big, and I don't want that big of a notch. So I'm used by little circle and just put it in just a little ways. Now I'm inking that up. So now we look like this. 
Okay, we fold it down and it looks like this. Okay, we're moving right along. So now we're going to open this up and I am going to glue my little tiny flaps down right here. So we opened our little flaps up and we put some glue on them and now we're going to push them back down. So now they're permanently glued down just like that. Whoa, where did it go? There it is, there it is. Just like that. Okay. So now we're ready for decorating. Let's see, what kind of things can we decorate? I have some beautiful black lace that I think looks stunning on here. And I think I would like to add that, I think maybe to the edge, but I need to cut a little bit on the hair. So let's see, I'm gonna cut on the hair. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Okay, so we'll cut that. And let me see, is that where I want it? Or do I, would I rather have it? No, I'd rather have it up here like that. Okay, so I'm going to get a bigger piece because I want it like that. I want it to be like, um, <laughs> I don't know, I wanted to say a dress or a skirt, but I want it to come down on that envelope a little bit. So I am going to lay my fabric tack down as it does grab that fabric nicely and since we're designing an end product right here I really don't have time to wait for it to do its thing so we'll use the fabric tack wipe this glue off my hands and now I'm going to trim this lace just like this so it is wet, so I'm not going to smush it down, but when you close it, it'll be, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. Okay, because it's wet, I'm going to go like this. Now, let's see here. I have got some very thin teal colored ribbon, and I think it would be very pretty to put it right here. So I'm going to fold my piece in half. I'm going to get my fabric tack once again put a little glob there on the point I'm just creasing whoops if I can creasing my little ribbon and I'm going to put that right there now do I want a button do I want a little bit of this kind of bling or do I want Something like this. Oh, I like that. And I don't know why. I cannot tell you why I like it. I just like it. But I don't want all of that. So, see if I can. Now, nah, I knew that was going to happen. Um, once I get this on, it will, it will help hold it down. So, I'm just going to trim around the part that I want. But I'm not trimming it real tight. I kind of like that little net look. A little bit of net around it. Okay, so what if we go up with the boop, but I'm going to need a little bit boop, beep, whoa, I'm going to need a little glue, more glue on here. All right, you guys, so this is the video that we have the drawing at the end of it, and we find out who wins Happy Mail from me to you, and how do you get into the fishbowl, which is what I call the drawing. And this is how you do it. It's super duper simple and it's really fun. And it makes you feel good and it makes you and it makes the person that you 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 give your act of kindness to feel good too. So what you do is you do your little act of kindness. Um I did I did a few this week, let people into traffic. That's my favorite because woo, traffic anymore, people get so cranky. Um, I let someone go ahead of me at the store. They only had two items. I had a, like eight or ten. I just let them go ahead of me. What's well, a couple seconds? I mean, it really, it's unbelievable how good it makes you feel. It like, wow, there are still nice people in this world. It, really, you guys, help me spread this act of kindness to everyone you meet. Tell me a short little version of your act of kindness down in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I get it lost. So put it in 
the comment section of this video. Just scroll down, you can see where the comment section is, pop it in, and boop, there you go. And then I'll get you into the drawing for the next Sunday. Now that's another little thing. You're going to have to check back next Sunday to see if you won the Happy Mail because how else am I going to send it to you uh, without your address? And I have my email address down there below. You just follow the short little couple of things you need to do to send me your address Send me your address and I will send you happy mail from me to you. And oh my goodness, you guys, it's so much fun. Okay, back to the project. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is turning out. You know what? After talking and looking at this, I really think I want to put the button on here anyway. With all this going on, I still want a button. So let's see, which button do I want? I like this button. Yes, there's certain buttons that I like better than others. I like that button right there. Let's see if I can get that on. Now, this is still gluey. Isn't that pretty? Now, you can either glue this onto your page and then they flip it up and then you flip it down and you have all this journaling spot. Or you could put it in a corner tuck or a straight tuck. Or a belly band you can add it any way you want let me show you some others that I made I made this one here right here I made this one open it up just like that I think that's pretty with the seed beads inside and then I have this one and it's the same exact way you just flip it down so you can make them all sizes. Now look at this one. This is super duper tiny. Look, it's so cute. I love these little things. These little things are so much fun and so interactive, right? Okay, you guys, let us have our drawing. Let's get right to it. Alrighty, let's get right to it. Here's the, the fish bowl. Alrighty. Here we go. Who's the winner of Happy Mail this week? Check back next Sunday because, whoop, let me put it over here, because you're going to need to send me your address. Alrighty. The, with, the winner is Heather Miller. Heather, you have won Happy Mail this week from me to you because you spread, you helped me spread kindness. Oh, you guys, I have had great fun. And I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video because I've enjoyed being with you. Bye guys!